Monday, the Navy will pause all flight operations for non-deployed units after a pair of military crashes last week. The Navy says this will allow them to review risk management practices and conduct training on threat and error management processes. Joining us now to talk about this is former Navy aviator and president of the San Diego Air and Space Museum, Jim Kidrick. Jim, it's always a pleasure to speak with you, but tell us from your point of view, how unprecedented is this when you hear the Navy pausing all flight operations for a day? Well, it's it's really not unprecedented. Um, uh, uh, they've done this, uh, you know, certainly for, for many years, and uh, it's something that is very, very important to us, uh, and that, of course, is, uh, is safety at every level, level of naval aviation. So uh, we used to call them safety stand downs. Uh, so this is really pretty common. Uh, I think uh, Commander Naval Air Forces has made a good decision uh, because they're looking at certainly not just the two recent mishaps, but they're looking at the entire climate and, uh, and they're going to pick the right time to, to do something like this. So what happens on, on a day like this? They say it's to conduct training and, and go over processes, but what do they actually do while all the flights are grounded for a day? Well, they're going to have all your maintenance departments. They're going to go through all their procedures, processes, you know, how they work. They're going to look at, uh, you know, all of the, uh, the maintenance logs of the uh, various airplanes. Uh, but once again, review their processes and, and how they go about their business. The aviators are going to, uh, uh, you know, be gathered together. and They'll be taking, uh, you know, some, uh, some written tests and pop quizzes and, and maybe practicing egress out of the airplane and actually going out to the, uh, you know, to the airplanes and practicing getting out uh, in case they had an emergency. So they're going to look at uh, everything. They'll look at certainly their briefings, uh, uh, their flights. Uh, uh, oftentimes they'll actually ask a question uh, similar to this uh, to all of the aviators, especially that if we were going to have a mishap in our unit, where do you think it might come from? Because that kind of substance allows everybody to talk it out. Uh, because once again, this is something we want to avoid in the future uh, because our most important asset certainly are the people that we have uh, in the Navy and, uh, and Marine Corps. And Jim, really quickly, because uh, time is short, but what about for the units on deployment? When do they get a chance to do some of these steps and try and prevent tragedies like this? Well, most of the time they'll be given some sort of leeway because of the operational commitments of deployed units, but normally it'll be uh, complete, complete this uh, same exercise within about 15 to 30 days, uh, you know, after the original notice, but they will get it done, but that just ensures uh, uh, that they can, you know, perform all of their commitments deployed overseas as our frontline forces. All right, Jim Kittrick with the San Diego Air and Space Museum. Thank you so much for your time and your expertise. Thank you.